My name is Dr. Stephen Friedman from the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Harvard Medical School in Boston, Massachusetts. Today I'll be discussing dosing of pancreatic enzymes in patients with excrement pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. So first, what dose of enzymes should you be on? We base this on the degree of EPI, as well as the size and type of a meal. The more severe the EPI, or the larger the meal, or more fat, the more enzymes you would need for digestion. So how do we determine if a patient has mild, moderate, or severe EPI? We base this on how long someone has had pancreatic disease, whether they have pancreatitis versus cystic fibrosis and CF or cystic fibrosis, patients have more severe EPI. We also look at whether or not there's a history of pancreatic surgery. As you can imagine, if you remove parts of the pancreas, you're going to have more severe EPI. We also look at fecal elastase levels. The lower the value, the more severe the EPI. And finally, we look at individual symptoms. Do they have oily diarrhea or weight loss? So how does the size of a meal and amount of fat factor in? Normally, your own pancreas senses the size of a meal and the amount of fat. Larger meals, more fat requires more enzymes and especially lipase for digestion. And if you put these two factors together, the degree of EPI and the size of a meal and the amount of fat, we can consider grouping individuals into three categories. For mild EPI and lower fat meals, we would recommend two to three 25,000 lipase unit capsules. For higher fat meal, you would increase that probably to four to five capsules with that meal. If you instead have moderate EPI, that would probably be in the range of four to six 25,000 lipase unit capsules with a meal. And for larger, fattier meals, you'd go up to six to seven capsules. And finally, for more severe EPI, that's usually in the range of seven to nine 25,000 lipase unit capsules with a meal, and perhaps nine to 10 capsules with a very fatty meal. So what about timing your enzymes with the meal that you're consuming? What's important is how long it takes you to eat that meal. If you eat everything within 20 minutes, you can probably take all the enzyme capsules with the first bite of that meal. And by the way, you want the enzymes mixing with that meal. You don't want to take the enzymes and wait 10 to 20 or 30 minutes because then the enzymes will pass through, then the food's coming through, and there's not going to be efficient digestion. So within 20 minutes of, uh, of a meal, uh, take them all in the first bite. If instead it takes you 20 to 40 minutes to eat a meal, take half the number of capsules with the first bite of the meal and the other half with the end of the meal. And if it takes you more than 40 minutes to eat a meal, you want to divide it up so you're taking a third of the number of capsules with the first bite, a third in the middle, a third at the end of the meal. So if you're on six capsules, two with the first bite, two in the middle, two at the end of the meal. So how, finally, how do you know if you're on the right dose of enzymes? So do you still have oily diarrhea? And importantly, it sticks to the walls of the toilet bowl, the sensitive marker that you're truly having pancreatic steatorrhea or insufficiency. Are you still having continued weight loss? And so for either of those, you're probably going to go up on the dosing by perhaps two capsules with each meal and see over the next one to two weeks, does that make a difference? If you're uh, malabsorbing fat-soluble vitamins such as A, D, E, and K, your physician may want to recheck those enzymes on with higher doses of PERTs, uh, usually within like four weeks of going up on the dose. Do you have other GI symptoms? Though these can be nonspecific, such as bloating and gas or abdominal pain and distension. Again, we may want to see over one to two weeks with going up on the dosing of your enzyme. Does it help with these symptoms? If not, your physician may want to look for other causes of these symptoms here. I hope this is helpful, and please let us know if you have any questions. We're happy to respond. Thank you.